candidates should be able to describe thermal conduction in all solid in term of atomic or molecular lattice vibrations and also in terms of the movement of free, delocalized electrons in metallic conductors. Describe experiments to distinguish between good and bad thermal conductors. Describe, in term of particles, why thermal conduction is bad in gases and most liquids. Thermal energy transfer. If there is a difference in temperature between two objects, causing thermal energy transfer from the hotter object to the colder one. This will continue until both objects are at the same temperature, we say that they are in thermal equilibrium. Thermal energy can be transferred from the hot object to colder object by conduction, convection and radiation. Conduction Conduction occurs mainly in solids. Particles in liquids and gases are much more free to move around than in solids, which is why they usually transfer energy by convection instead of conduction. At the hot end of the solid bar, the atoms of particles gain kinetic energy and vibrate faster. The atoms in a solid are close together, and so they collide with neighboring atoms, which in turn start to vibrate faster. In this way, heat energy is transferred from the hot end to the cold end of the solid bar. If a solid bar is the metals, which have free-moving electrons, this causes thermal energy transfer by conduction faster. This is because, free electrons gain kinetic energy at the hot end of the bar. These free electrons pass on their kinetic energy through collisions with other electrons and metal atoms as they randomly diffuse through the metal. In this way thermal energy is conducted from the hot end of the bar to the cold end. Good conductors are the substance that can transfer heat energy easily because they have free-moving electrons. Good conductors are mainly the metal, such as silver, copper, iron, aluminum, brass, and others. Poor conductors are called insulators, which are the substance that transfers heat energy difficultly, because they have no free-moving electrons. Insulators are mainly non-metal, except for graphite, which is a conductor. An experiment to distinguish between good and bad thermal conductors. Metals are better conductors of heat than non-metals. However, some metals are much better conductors than others. In this investigation the thermal conductivity of four metals is compared and the metals can then be placed in order from the best conductor of heat to the poorest. Set up the apparatus as shown in the diagram. For metals rod are used to be iron, copper, brass and aluminum. Attach a drawing pin to the end of each rod with a small blob of Vaseline. The ends of the rods, without the drawing pins, should be brought together so that they can be heated equally. Heat the ends of the rods equally with a blue Bunsen flame. Record the time taken for each rod to lose its drawing pin. When the temperatures of the far ends reach the melting point of wax, the pins drop off. The pin on copper falls first, showing it is the best conductor, followed by aluminum, brass and then iron. An experiment to show that water is a poor conductor of heat. Set up the apparatus as shown in the diagram. Ice is trapped at the bottom of the boiling tube with a piece of metal gauze. When the water at the top of the boiling tube is heated strongly, it boils. The ice at the bottom of the tube does not melt. This shows that water is a poor conductor of heat. However, if the ice is allowed to float normally, it melts quickly when the water is heated at the bottom of the test tube. This is because the water molecules can move, so the water heats by convection. Water, like other liquids and non-metal solids, is a poor conductor of heat energy because its molecules do not have free-moving electrons to easily pass on their kinetic energy to their neighbors. So the heat can only be transmitted through the vibration of the particles. Gases are very poor conductors of heat energy, because their molecules are very far apart so kinetic energy cannot be transmitted from one molecule to another. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, 
and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.